Hello, my name is Kylie Sullivan and I'm a health compliance officer in the town of Arlington. Before I talk about some of the signs of rodent activity, it's really important to learn about the Norway rat. This rodent inhibits the northeast region of the United States and frequently lives within 150 feet of consistent food and water sources. Known to live in a network of tunnels in the ground, this rodent digs under foundations, in stacks of firewood, in stone retaining walls, under the roots of shrubs, and in areas cluttered with items. Given the rodent's specific behavioral patterns, there are key signs of activity to look for when assessing a property for the rodent's presence. Some of these include, first, runways marked by flattened vegetation due to rodent's repeated travel. These runways are oftentimes seen along structures such as fences, foundations, and sheds. Another sign of rodent activity is sebum, also known as rub marks from the oils and dirt being rubbed from the rodent's fur along walls, fences, flooring, which oftentimes appear next to runways. Burrows are another sign of rodent activity, which are also known as rat holes. These usually appear in a cluster of two or more smooth holes, approximately two to four inches in diameter, and they are the access points into a rodent's nest. Another sign of rodent activity is bite marks. These are also called gnar marks and are seen on trash barrels, recycling bins, entries to crawl spaces, or on the bottom of doors. Finally, rodent droppings are a sign of rodent activity. These droppings are approximately three-fourth inch long capsules that are curved with pointed ends. It's super important to stay aware of these signs. And as soon as you notice any rodent activity, proof your property. You might be asking, how do I do that? Stay tuned for the next video to find out.